Hello. Um, I am here uh, today to talk about Mark Hamill. And uh, this past Thursday, he got a uh, got the got a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. And uh, you know, throughout his career on uh, stage, film, and television. <clears throat> He's had a, an amazing career. Luke Skywalker and the Joker, his best known film, film and television roles. Um, I'm happy that he got it. You know, uh, as I see it, uh, so many people are nominated every year. Anyone can nominate uh, somebody in the entertainment industry. Um, but if I, you know there's enough uh, traction, I guess, uh, for someone to get nominated and somebody is selected, and uh, Harrison Ford and George Lucas were there to uh, speak before, you know, he gave a final speech. Well, he's Mark Hamill did say something uh, before. But then George Lucas came up and spoke, then Harrison Ford, and they talked about how Mark Hamill is really one of a kind, and he had just the right uh, energy, and the, it was just right for Luke Skywalker, and how it was great to work with him, and that uh, he'll continue on to make great stuff. Um, he, you know, he was very grateful. He was happy that, you know, uh, uh, to be honored like this. Um, you know, Harrison Ford. Uh, he mentioned how he got not he got the uh, uh, star on the Walk of Fame in 2003, and he joked, you know, I had more people come to mind. Uh, Though I read an article before I saw it, there's a video uh, that I can link in the description if any of you haven't seen it, or not description, I can like, you know, pin it in a comment section, actually. But, you know, he, how, you know, he joked how there's more people at his uh, ceremony or indoctrination or, or, yeah, being inducted and having the star on the Walk of Fame than Mark Hamill had, but, um, I believe that, uh, yeah, Hamill actually had more people, uh, because as popular as Star Wars and Indiana Jones are, you know, having the fan base of Star Wars and Batman is, uh, you know, a lot bigger, because, you know, Batman's been around for, since 39, and, um, you know, Star Wars is huge, uh, but, you know, that's... You know, I think it's great. Um, I think it's great that he got honored. Um, I would like to see George Lucas one day get a star of a Walk of Fame. I don't believe he has one. Um, though then again, he, you know, he has never been a Hollywood filmmaker. He always was independent. Even when he did the, even though studios distributed his films, he was always independent. He worked with people elsewhere. Uh, even when Star Wars was financed by Fox and they got the money from Fox and hence that's how you know, Fox owns the original Star Wars. He had independence. He could do what he wanted. He, he made the film how he envisioned it uh, the best of his abilities. And you know, I think he could be uh, a person who could get inducted inducted in the Hall of Fame, but, or the, the Hollywood Walk of Fame, but I guess since, you know, he was independent and such, you know, he might not get to get that, um, which would be too bad, but, you know, uh, Mark Hamill getting a star on the Walk of Fame was really great, uh, the, the video itself uh, for his whole um, um, him being inducted is like 33 minutes long 
uh, I watched it uh, uh, last this past weekend, and it was it was a good uh, you know it was a it was a good half hour. Uh, it was a it was a very good watch. Uh, it was very nice. Harrison Ford said how he wished the rest of the trio was there. You know, since Carrie Fisher passed away last uh, 2016, as well as you know. Um, as did Kenny Baker, who was R two D two, and the actors earlier in the year. Uh, person who was first it was the person who played Red Leader in Episode Four, and then the man who voiced Admiral Akbar, I believe. Yeah, if I'm recalling correctly, he passed away sometime later, and Kenny Baker passed away, and then Carrie Fisher at the end of the year. And then her mother, uh, right after uh, she died. Uh, very unfortunate, very sad. Um, all of them. But then, you know, to hear uh, of Carrie's passing, which was very shocking. Um, you know, the, the Andy Baker, uh, he had been sick for some time. But, uh, you know, he will be well remembered. As well, Carrie Fisher and uh, you know, in talking Her Harrison Ford just mentioning Carrie Fisher was nice. You know how wishing the rest, of the, the trio was you know complete. Uh, though uh, Carrie Fisher's daughter was there, uh, Billy Lord. Yes, I believe that's her name. Uh, I get kind of a mind fog or something. Uh, that's her name. Um, and Mark Hamill's family was there. Uh, and so many fans. Uh, it was something. Um, I'm happy for Mark Hamill. Um, like to see George Lucas get a star on the Walk of Fame. Perhaps uh, Carrie Fisher will get one, posthumously. Um, one of the rules for this I saw, you have to actually be there to get your uh, uh, star. Uh, George Clooney apparently was on his way to get one, but he didn't want to uh, be at the public ceremony, which is apparently a requirement. Same with John Denver. Um, but uh, John Denver, I saw, got one um, after he passed away. Um, so perhaps since Carrie Fisher passed away, we may uh, get to, you know, see her get one, and uh, I'm sure her daughter would be there to speak. Uh, perhaps George Lucas would be there as well. Uh, plus with uh, Harrison Ford and Mark Hamill, perhaps. Um, and other people I would like to see get inducted. Um, Gary Oldman. I think Gary Oldman would be a good person to uh, uh, have on the Walk of Fame. I think Christopher Nolan, Christian Bale, um, you know, I could just keep on going, uh, listing people. Hugh McGregor, I think, is a good actor who would be very deserving, you know, his body of work. Um, Peter O'Toole, who passed away in 2013, uh, John Hurt. Uh, I'm not sure if Morgan Freeman has a star. I didn't see his name, but he might. Uh, I can actually just look real quick. A fame, right? List of stars. Yes, Morgan Freeman has one. Does Peter O'Toole have one? He does not have one. Oldman does not have one.
Charlotte Hurt, Lou, well, Christopher Lee. No, he doesn't have a star. No, Christopher Lee doesn't. Stan Lee does. That's good. Hurt. 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 No, John Hurt does not have a star. Well, that's a bummer. So there you go. There's some people who I think could also uh, have a star on the Walk of Fame uh, that don't. Uh, so yeah, uh, so glad, glad Hamill got uh, his uh, uh, some rec good recognition in Hollywood. You know, he's been an actor for over 40 years, and, uh, I mean, he's gotten recognition, you know, I mean, he won a BAFTA for, uh, Arkham City, at their video game uh, awards, the BAFTA video game awards, he was the first person to ever win best, uh, vocal performance, I believe, uh, and, you know, it was a good performance, and, uh, always given good performances, uh, perhaps some of the stuff he's been in, um, may not have been the best, uh, but he's one of those actors that, you know, they do their best, they do everything they can to ensure, uh, their performance is good, as well as help elevate the film, or... TV show or whatever they're doing, uh, you know, and his, uh, also he could even be, uh, you know, uh, in Broadway, you know, it's one of those actors that whatever he does, he gives it his all, um, you know, he's a great actor, um, I don't, uh, yeah, I, uh, don't really have anything else to say. Um, yeah, I'm glad he got a star on the Walk of Fame, very deserving, and, uh, I just hope some of those people I mentioned who are still alive or have passed away will get some, get, get a recognition, uh, with, a star on the Walk of Fame, those people deserve it, and, um, that is all for now. Till next time, I will say goodbye. Peace out, everyone.